get your Wi-Fi running, install the app, create an account, and sign in. Make sure your router 2.4 gigahertz SSID is an open broadcast as the software won't connect. If it isn't, you can change it back later. The phone app will connect over Bluetooth to the softener. You're going to tell the softener what your network SSID and password is. And then your softener and both your app will be ready to connect to the Beam Cloud. All right, I'm on an Android. I'm going to go to the Play Store. And under Apps, I'm going to search for IQUA. That's the Ream app. And I'm going to install that. Okay, the app is installed. I'm going to open it. And it asks for location. You can do precise or approximate. And it's, you know, they'll locate you. And the reason they do that is they compare your water usage to others and they'll let you know, hey, you're using less water than most people in your neighborhood with same size house or you're using more water. I always put while using the app and allow. And then you're going to log in with your user ID or password. This is the first time you're using it, you're going to hit create account. And it's going to create account at the Ream site for you. I have an account, I'm logging in with my ID and password. And when you turn the app on, collect the, connect the ring button. Then you go down to settings and device management. Configure Wi-Fi network. You'll see that it's showing what should be on the display and it is connecting mode. So on your router, you have to make sure that it is broadcasting SSID. The ream can't find hit an SSID so this has to be turned on at least temporarily when it connects and then after you connect it you can say don't broadcast the ID. When your software is just on sitting here you're going to press these up and down buttons at the same time and it says con or connecting. Now we're going to turn the app on and by the way that'll last for 15 minutes on your unit it will time out and let's press start so your phone is going to connect over to your water softener I believe over Bluetooth and I see something on my display which says C-1 and now I have to give it my router information so what you're doing now is you've connected to your water softener with Bluetooth from your phone your device to your water softener on Bluetooth but now what you want to do is tell your water softener oh here's my Wi-Fi information so your water softener will connect over Wi-Fi to the Ream servers and store your information and give you email notifications and text notifications. But you have to go ahead and give it a Wi-Fi uh, SSID and password that you use yourself at home. Uh, I believe you have to do the 2.4 network and not the 5 gigahertz. Okay, I picked my SSID and, and entered my password and save and continue. And this is sending my password and my SSID to the Ream water softener. Once the Ream water softener gets that, reconfigures itself, the SAP will disconnect from Bluetooth. And then I will communicate with the water softener over Wi-Fi. And it does that through, I believe, up through the Ream servers. Okay. I wasn't paying attention, but on my water softener, I see C-3 now, and connected. So we look back on my softener, shows the time, and the light is green again. I hope this helps you. In summary, make sure you're in standby mode.
Now it hits select. You don't want to see anything else up here but the time. Press these two together until you see con for connection set up. Go into your app that you've downloaded from the app store and you created an account. Go into settings, hit device configuration, Wi-Fi. Wait for it to connect with Bluetooth. Make sure your Wi-Fi network at home, the SSID is broadcasting. You have to so many different routers. You have to figure out how to do that. It's not too hard. Um, but they all allow, almost all of them allow you to turn it on or off. If it's off, turn it on. The router may reboot, and then connect your Ream water softener to it, and then go back after it's connected. You're finished. Go back, and then hide the SSID again. Hope that helps.